good, y'all? What's poppin'? So, my hair is like this because this is how I tie my hair down to get ready to put on my wig. But the wig that I'm wearing today has got a fringe, so I'm not gonna even bother putting it on until I have finished creating my look. I haven't used this palette yet. I feel like I've been reserving this palette for Valentine's Day, which is the new Huda Beauty New Nude new nude palette i even painted my nails pink i just figured valentine's day is the perfect time to use such a palette and if you want to know how you can get it locally there are sites like muse beauty that stock this palette so you can get it here locally and get it delivered to you the next day so i'm gonna start off with my brows because i have not done those yet so my face is a little bit on the dry side today so i'm taking um, my smashbox photo finish primer oil which i haven't used in a while i feel like looking dewy and radiant is pretty much what you, what you want to do for a date <laughs> so i like the concept of primer oils as i said today for some reason my face is, feels so tight and dry so i'm opting to use this as I let that settle in I'm gonna uh, do my eyes first so what I'm gonna do is prime my lids and I'm taking just my regular concealer this Huda Beauty palette does have a concealer which is I think a universal shade to prime the lids with but uh, I'm just gonna use this one I'm just using a loose translucent powder and this one is from Elizabeth Arden so here is the palette once again um, this is such a beautiful palette because it really has all of the shades that you need for setting up the eye your crease color your transition shades your um, glitters a lot of sparkles so I'm gonna play with the sparkle today I'm quite scared so let's begin. I'm taking my Sigma Tapered Blending Brush, which is this one over here, and I really like the head of it. And we're going to start um, placing our transition shade. So I'm going to start with a shade called Teddy, and I'm placing this in my crease and spreading that upwards, just to start slightly defining. So it is called the New Nude. But it is essentially like a pink palette to be quite honest with you like it's a very rose it's a rose palette like it's pink it's got these beautiful rosy tones and very feminine hues which I think are beautiful it's just so beautiful to look at honestly from the packaging to the layout of the palette I love the fact that it comes with a huge mirror too so we're going to just continue building this and what's nice about doing eyeshadow first especially if you're not sure what look you really want to create is you can just make mistakes and it's more easier to sort of clean up so your transition shade brush you're going to keep you're going to continue using it like this you don't want to add a new color to it next i'm going to take the shade called raw and i'm going to continue building my crease i'm building color i'm building depth and whenever working with eyeshadows you begin with the softest color gradually building it up uh, with darker colors to get your desired look so I'm taking that uh, shade called Raw all the way into the eye so that when I cut my crease it's consistent from start to finish next color I think I'm gonna go in with is gonna be called Spanked and I'm taking my Sigma E25 blending brush and it's a lot more compact but it still gives you a soft focus on the crease and I'm packing this Love Bite shade a little bit more precisely I 
I think with romantic looks, the idea is to look quite soft and pretty and feminine, which is what I think this palette is really is about. I'm now taking that uh, concealer in the palette, which is this one here. I'm going to test it out and see if I can use this on my lid. It looks pretty full coverage. I really want to take this concealer quite high up. So what I've decided is that I really want my lid space to remain quite light and soft. So I think I'm going to go in with Bare first. It's the lightest shade in the palette. And I'm going to pack this onto my lid using a large flat shader brush. This is the Sigma E60 brush. And I'm just going to pack this on. At the very least, it's going to set the concealer that I've used. If I want to add color on top of it, that I can also do. I'm going back in with my Sigma E25 and I'm not adding any more pigment, but I just want to fill in the edges of the crease. Now I want to take a color next to Love Bites and let's try and see if we can do somewhat of a gradient effect. Another Sigma E25 and I think I'm going to go in with Tickle in the center next to Love Bites. So create this sort of gradient effect. You don't have to rush it at all. All you're doing is just creating this transition of soft pink to this dark purple. I think what will work is to take one of these sparkly ones in the inner corner. I'm going to go in with Crave. I really hope it works out. So I'm taking my pinky and I'm going to put Crave right in the corner from the inner corner. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll move in much closer so you guys can see that. Out really nicely. Let me come closer for you. So that's how it's looking. Okay, as my lashes dry, I'm taking my By Terry um, Lash Expert Twist Brush Mascara and I'm just gonna coat my lashes. This was sent to me by Metropolitan Cosmetics, they stock By Terry really nice mascara wow i really like that let's move on to foundation so the foundation i'm using today is from bobby brown which is one i haven't used in a while this is the one that actually thought i reached for when that day i used that studio skin from smashbox so i'm gonna try it out today i think i've literally used this a handful of times i'm using the shade 6.5 warm almond It is a full coverage foundation. It says it's long wear. And I'm taking my I'm using my Sigma Flat Kabuki F80. Hope you guys can really tell. I'm really enjoying these Sigma brushes, honestly. They just make applying makeup so much more fun and easier. So it 
look how dewy and radiant the skin looks of course we do have to set and bake See, i'm taking my allegal concealer today because it's uh light it's water-based and because we are using a primer oil i just don't want to have too much slipping and sliding so that's why i've opted for this water-based concealer instead of a creamy concealer like a bobby brown Instant Full Coverage or Urban Decay. I'm gonna set with this Elizabeth Arden Translucent Powder. I'm setting to make sure it actually really settles in. To set the rest of my face, I'm going in with my Black Radiance Powder. I've been loving this powder so much, you guys. Pretty much use it every day. And I'm just setting whatever I didn't bake. You'll notice that I'm not cream contouring today because like I said, I have a, a oil-based primer. My foundation is more on the uh, full coverage side. So just to avoid slipping and sliding, I'm going to powder contour. Taking my Smashbox step-by-step -step contour kit and I'm going to go in with terracotta bronze in the middle and a little bit of the deep shade and I'm going to begin that contour. I'm gonna go in <clears throat> back into my new nude and I'm gonna take a raw and the lower lid space and I'm gonna drag it down. I'm taking a detail more detailed brush, the Sigma E32, and I'm gonna go in with spanked which is a little bit more pink than Love Bite. I want my lower lid area to be too dark. I just want it to be pink and bright. I'm gonna go ahead and just dust away. I'm gonna spritz my face with some Fix Plus before we go in with mascara. I'm gonna take that terracotta shade again and just concentrate it on the apple of my cheeks just for a little bit of color and radiance and then I'm going to take it away highlighter I'm using MAC I have this uh, hyper real glow and I'm taking this last shade here it doesn't have a name So I have these beautiful matte lippies from MAC that literally just arrived this morning. Let me first go in with the shade called Back in Vogue. These are the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Let's see, I might have to pick up a liner. more of a coral a coral pink oh but that's pretty though let me just go over my face one more time with some fix plus Ooh, yum my, my hair is in pigtails it's not a big pony at the back but it looks like it could be is it a good faking have, have I faked it nicely? I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. This looks nice to me with my hair like this. I don't wanna put a wig on. Although well, my line could be straighter. I look like a naturalista. <laughs> yeah, so this is a finished look, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I actually really liked how this came out. Um, 
I have not really played around much with this Huda Beauty palette but I really think it's such a soft and feminine palette. It's like, I feel like it's impossible to create a bad look with this palette. I think it is stunning, it creates a beautiful eyes from a very soft look to something dramatic and glamorous i think i've gone for something a little bit in between today anyway guys that's it i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to comment like and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you on thursday <laughs> bye